Hi everybody, welcome back to Crafting and Crime Daily. Today is Craft With Me Wednesday. There's Robin and Mickey, welcome. Robin's been sitting here very patiently for a little while. How are you guys? You're my besties, my two people are here. I think there's three, but that could just be me because I'm watching on my iPad too. Here's what we have in store for tonight. I have, I'm going to do um, some yarn winding here, here, and get ready for my next gnome pattern. And I'll show you what that is here in a little while. Hi, Jerry. Welcome, welcome. Let me just make this full so you don't miss a thing. Is this, yeah, it's fine. You can't see the yarn winder here. Hold on. We don't want to create any accidents. There's a yarn winder. So I've already got a few skeins here. I hope that I have enough yellow. I think I probably will. Here is the June gnome. She, she sat there for 17 minutes. Well, girl, if there was a prize tonight, I'd give it to you. Here's the June gnome. He's got like a little watermelon head. Hi, Lynn. So I'm going to start on him. And the reason I'm going to go ahead and start with him is because I have so many to do for the rest of the year. I'm going to show you guys. Jerry is in the middle of listening to my steamy video. <laughs> Listen, there was just a thin layer separating our loins. Just saying, that's the only preview you're going to get because you haven't watched it yet. Mickey, I know. Wait till tomorrow. <laughs> it's it's interesting. Interesting. So that's June. Let me show you some of the other ones for the rest of the year. Super, super cute. There's a couple in June. Just the one with the strawberry on the head. That's going to be a male. I want to do the female. Um. Yeah, June is, is, is a male with the watermelon. Then I want to do this female June gnome. And she just has a strawberry up in her hair, up on her on her cap, her little cap. Um, yeah, it's on her yellow cap. So those are the two that I'm going to do for June. Oh, my gosh. Guys, I was playing with this the other day. Oh, wait till you see all these. Raspberry? No, no, no. What did I say? Strawberry? It could be a raspberry, I suppose. Hi, Rochelle. Welcome, welcome. Okay, maybe, you know what? Yeah, it's a strawberry. Okay. So then for what's after that, July, there is some options to do a slice of watermelon on their cap. So this is for July. So I want to do a male and a female. Wait a minute. What happened to the main July one? Hold on. Because it should be like a red, white, and blue one. Did I not print it out? Maybe I didn't print it out. Oh, what? I don't think I have it printed out. <laughs> All right. I have to print out the July one because I'm not seeing it here. But I'll show you the rest of these because, oh, my God, are they super cute. Um, so July, that's July. Yeah, I need to go back and print out the red, white, and blue one for July. Then for August, we've got some scuba divers. Hi, Catherine. She says, Lordy, I just got here and we are talking about loins. What a fun room. <laughs> I, that's the preview for the video that I did. I did two videos today. One is my regular video. The other, I am reading the, I'm going to call it a novella because it's only two chapters. It took me 30 minutes to read it. Mickey would have taken her three minutes because she's a speed reader. But when you're talking about loins, you got to take your time. Anyway, yeah. So that's what's in the second video. I am reading from the novella, the two chapters that Chad Daybell wrote for Lori. And it gets a little steamy here and there. So 
Aren't these adorable with the scuba? Oh my gosh, super cute. There's more. <laughs> There's so many, you guys. I'm like, how can you do all these? I think I'm gonna have to make two blankets. I th think what I'll do is make a, like um, a regular blanket, and then maybe like a holiday blanket, just to one have just to have one out for the holidays. <laughs> so. Here is another one you could do for August. Look, I want to do this one here. The, the guy with the duck. I don't know if you can see him. You know, kind of a little nod to the duck song there. The duck walked up to the lemonade stand. Rhonda came in and we can start the show. Hey, Rhonda. Yes. So I'm going to do that one with the sunglasses and the rubber ducky. Now the girl, she's got a flamingo. I wasn't you know, I like pink, but she's got a flamingo and he's got a rubber ducky. So I have to do the rubber ducky. Yeah. This is all the yellow I have left. I got to go buy more yellow. Hi, Maritza. Welcome. Been a long day. You know what you should do after a long day? You should settle in with a craft, whatever craft it might be, and put on the story of James, James and Elena. Yes. There was just a thin layer of fabric separating their loins. Okay. <laughs> then in September, because of school, there's one with uh, an apple. I don't know. I'm not that thrilled with that one, but, you know, what, what else are you going to do in September? Not much, right? So that, I think that was it for September. Yeah. Then for... I know there's more. Well, wait, there's more. Hi, Gail. I haven't seen you in a while. It is nice to see you, my dear. For Halloween, I'm going to put this up for a vote later, but what color would you like to know? My sister said to make his beard purple. I think I'm going to do the purple male, but you never know. There is an alternate, an alternate gnome for October as well. So that's one of them. The other one I could do has a witch hat. So I thought maybe the male with the pumpkin hat and then the witch hat on the female with the pumpkin would be really cute for October. I'm sure the animals are just dying to wait for me to put this blanket down on the bed then they can lay on it and get it all dirty yep look at thanksgiving guys it's a turkey gnome <laughs> how funny is that yes definitely got to buy more yellow yarn isn't he adorable Catherine says those day bells are making my friends look like the brady bunch <laughs> right yeah and not the truth. These are the instructions that I've got here that I'm going through. Now, now we're starting for December. Wait till you see December. Hi, Robin. Welcome, welcome. So this is the basic one. It's a Santa Claus. And the actual, the, the, um, the brim of the hat is done in like this fuzzy white. And then the beard and the hair is just a regular white. So when it's, it's a very textured look. So that'll be cute. That's going to be one of the December gnomes. Then there is this candy cane gnome. Isn't that adorbs? Ah, oh, I love it. I had so much fun printing all this. Now I probably got to go buy printer ink for my business. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, wait, do you see this one? The snowman gnome. And I'll alternate between male and female on these. Because there are so many. You love a crafty and smart lady. Well, I will try to find one for you, <laughs> Catherine. Okay, so tomorrow we're going to be on Verdict Watch. We don't get to see the closing, 
you know, arguments in the Daybell case live. And that's what's going to happen tomorrow. They, they're going to get read the jury instructions. They're going to get the closing arguments. And then we will wait for the jury to come back. And we will get to see that live. I'm going to cover that live tomorrow at some point. Now look at the reindeer, guys. Look at the reindeer. <laughs> How cute is that? So you see why I need to do just a holiday blanket? Okay. There's more. There's more. Don't forget while you're sitting there, you're watching, you're contemplating when you need to go read that book. You're watching me on your huge TV. <laughs> Please give me a thumbs up. Yes, thank you. I do appreciate it. Also, consider becoming a member of the channel. Not enough of you are, are in green anymore. Where's all my green people? My members. You can become a member for as little as $1.99 a month. And it goes to help support the content of the channel because I need more yellow yarn. All right, so those are all the instructions. And then my birthday is in December. So I'm going to throw in a birthday gnome. Look how adorable that one is. Birthday gnome. Look at all the colors on the hat. Oh my God, could you just die? So uh, there's going to be a lot of crocheting going on this year. Green is your favorite color. Yeah. So I actually have a, a large suitcase over on the other side here. And what I have done, Catherine is welcome. Thank you for becoming a member. Jerry's in green. And now Catherine will be in green. Thank you so much, Catherine. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and start on July. Because cross-stitch weekend is not till next weekend. So I thought, well, you guys are probably tired of watching me diamond paint and watercolor. So we're just going to sit here and wind yarn. <laughs> So I have to create these little bobbins for the for the pattern. Now what you what I do when I make these is I start I use a corner to corner stitch and I start in the corner. You can't see. It's right behind my thing, right behind my logo. Hold on. I start in the corner here. And so I have to kind of gauge how many times I'm going to need to stop and start that yarn as I'm going across. So I usually try to create two or three of each color, two or three of these, I call them bobbins of each color. And I've actually gotten a little routine down that keeps everything untangled. What I do is I line it up like this. And well, as I'm using it, as I add in the colors, they get lined up. And once it, once I use a color on the corner to corner, then I put it at the end of the line. And then I just keep moving the line and that keeps everything untangled, which is kind of clever because there's all kinds of ideas out there about how to keep your yarn untangled. And I find this one without spending a lot of money to be the most efficient. Who else is going to become a member tonight? Come on, guys. All right. So we're going to put this in my little yarn winder. And we're going to start winding. So Because we do need red on this one. It's a lot of Christmas color on this one. But it's really summer colors. Because it's this is the watermelon hat. Your hubby's birthday is in December. Catherine, nice. The best people are born in December. You're so glad you're, who's your daughter, Catherine? You must tell. <laughs> I'm wondering who her daughter is. She suggested me. Wait a minute. Is your daughter, no, I don't want to guess. I don't know who your daughter is. I'm, I'm, I have an idea of who I think it might be, but I, I don't want to say if I'm wrong. This wears my arm out, honest to God. This, <laughs> I'm you can't see what I'm doing really but I'm it's a, there's a little crank here and you're just crank but you got to hold on to the yarn because if you don't it goes underneath underneath the uh winder and then you're then you're in big trouble so you have to kind of hold it up 
and you got to make sure that you're doing it out of the center pole. I mean, you can do it um, from the top, but it's much more difficult to do from the top. So try to get the center pole if you can. Kit Red. Okay, cool. That's not who I thought it was. <laughs> she has many aliases. I probably know Kit Red by another name, too. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Here we go. Berta became a member. Oh, she's been a member for a month. Oh, milestone hit. Hey, everyone. Yes, Berta's been a member for a little while. All right, that's enough on that, Bobbin. That's actually too much, but I was on a roll there. So thank you, member. Thank you, Berta, for being a member of the channel. And oh, my goodness. Oh. Have y'all seen Queen Charlotte? Look at this. There's a line down my face. The, the blinds. I got to close these because that sun is coming down here and it's about to take my eyes out. There we go. Pay no attention to the fat woman in that, in that square right there. Yeah. I don't know who she is. What is that amazing gizmo? It's a yarn winder. You just go on Amazon and put in yarn winder. I think that's what it's called. It's kind picks is the name of it. Let me, let me look on Amazon. That's where I got it. Yarn winder. Yeah, they have different ones. Here's it's this one is 15 1599 same thing yarn winder that one but this one hooks to my desk and then um I don't know if that that one looks like you, you can just set it on top of the desk I don't normally do wind my yarn, but when I'm making these um, bobbins, you don't want to be working from big skeins like, you know, pound of love. You want to make small bobbins. When, the first time I did it, you guys saw that I was using the big skeins of yarn and I was getting all tangled up and yeah. I've learned a lot since that first, first gnome. You don't really have to make the bobbins that large. This is probably a perfect size right here for one of the bobbins. This is the one that I did for May. Here. With the rose. Isn't that pretty? These, I, these feel like Miami Dolphin colors. <laughs> My son would love it. Anyway, that's for May. I actually do want to cross stitch this weekend. So I don't, between this and cross stitching, that's what I'm going to be doing this weekend. Because I want to start my bird, not, not the bird. I want to start the cat cross stitch that I got. I've already gridded out the fabric. So I want to start on it. Robin watched Queen's. Queen Charlotte inspired to begin listening to Spare by Prince Harry. Oh, is that any good, Robin? You'll have to let me know. Hi, Lisa. Welcome. Um, yes. I, I watched Queen Charlotte. And then when I was over, I messaged some friends of mine and I said, hey. What did I say? Hold on. <laughs> oh, my gosh. They and they got the reference right away. They figured out um, exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> uh, I said, "So here is this week's question: Are your gardens in bloom?" <laughs> and um, out of some of my friends, some gardens are blooming, some are not. And if you haven't watched Queen Charlotte, then you have no idea what the heck I'm talking about. <laughs> but that's what I liked about that show, Queen Charlotte, is that they addressed, they really 
brought in the storyline from Lady Danbury and they brought in the storyline from Violet and they they incorporated like what older adults go through and I liked that about the show so it was kind of cute you were sad at the end I loved that they were underneath the bed and that she you know because she's always asking is he dead is he dead she goes to see him every she's hiding him over at the at where his house is and she goes to see him every night i'm gonna go ahead and finish this skein up with three i think three will be enough i hope i might need four but we'll see it always tries to tangle up on me at the end so what I did was I took, I started to tell you guys about the suitcase over there. I took all the solid color yarn that I have, the scraps, everything. And I'm keeping it in that suitcase because I want to try to use all of that before I go buy anything. And I was shocked at how much I had. And when I'm done with these, whatever skeins or yarn is left over on the bobbins, I just put that in the suitcase too. And I'll try to use that before the end of the year. So, Lisa, how you feeling, girl? How are you doing? So, this is, wow, this is turning out big, too. Okay, there we go. But that's okay, because that's the hat. All right. Now we just need to do, this is going to be the outline. This is a pound of love I got from Lion Brand in one of their mystery. It's all four-weight yarn. I feel like I have yarn pieces in my eye. Ugh. Okay. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't yawn like that. My goodness. Lisa, as soon as you're recovered, we got to start our watercolor book together. Yep, moving on, Lisa, moving on. So this color right here is going to be, you see how it's the outline of the gnome? It's going to be the, that really light outer part of the gnome. That's what this is. I made you yawn. I'm sorry. Hi, Joanna. Welcome, welcome. Joanna and I are going to be doing a paint along in November. So last night, I, where is my brother today? Hmm. Last night I was watching Rose Prophet's live stream and she actually announced that this month she is going to be releasing all four of the paintings that she has uh, commissioned for the Great Escape, the event that Mickey and I are doing starting August 1st. So right before she releases those this month, she's going to let Mickey and I know we will do a video where we can show you all four of those paintings. And um, then you guys can start purchasing them and you'll have plenty of time to get them in before August 1st. If, if you want to paint along with us, she and Mickey and I are doing the same one. We chose the same one out of the four, but you can choose one of the other ones or you can choose the same one. Look, I'm dodging the, the sun here. <laughs> but all four of them are beautiful, beautiful. Joanna says, "I her hubby loves no, I just keep hiding them. Oh. Well, you missed it. I so, I showed all of the ones that I'm going to be doing for the rest of the year. So if you want to go back and watch the first part of this video, you'll see all the ones I'm going to be doing. I'm going to go ahead and make this skein larger because I'll probably use it again for another outline. Mickey says, yep, that's incredible. You're going to love them. They are, they're gorgeous. They're really, I would love to show you now, but we'll show you, we'll show you another time. 
We'll wait till the end of the month when everybody has a little change in their pockets or, or not. Girl, you need a gnome program, <laughs> like a 12 step program. Hi, I'm Rebecca. I'm addicted to gnomes. <laughs> Who started me with this? Somebody, it was a suggestion from a subscriber. <laughs> And boy, I took it and ran with it. She smells like she's drunk. Hey, K-N-O-M-E, we know what you're talking about. <laughs> yes, I am addicted to gnomes. I love them. I have them everywhere, you guys. Look, I have this one here that someone, a subscriber made for me. Look at this one. These, now... Rose Prophet uh, will tell you that these are actually not gnomes. They are gonks, which are like the gnomes cousins. If you if you see one of these characters and their eyes are covered, they're called gonks. And if their eyes are uncovered, they're called gnomes. Um, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I call them all gnomes. Catherine has a neighbor that is obsessed with gnomes. Berta, who's, am I drunk? No, I had pizza for dinner, but uh, there was nothing in it that I'm aware of. I'm drinking Diet Coke. Do I have gnomes in my jeans? Um, I don't know. Maybe. I've got, I have a gnome painting around here that I did. I'm working on one for Christmas. I started a Christmas, you know, DAC came out with a Christmas one, um, not last year, but the year before. And I started it last year and I have to finish it up for this year. Super cute. Now she wants to know if Joanna's drunk. <laughs> It's okay if you are. I mean, you know, it's Wednesday. It's five o'clock somewhere. Sissy, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay, that's enough for that one. What are you doing, baby girl? You got to go outside? You want me to let you outside? That means I got to let you back in. Hold on. Here you go. Okay, I'm back. So I got two. I can see at least one place on this where I'm going to need three, three um, bobbins. So I'm going to do at least three of this color, maybe even four. Joanna says she's not drunk, but if you request it, she could be. <laughs> okay. So with show of hands, who um, if who didn't or did watch the Hogwarts Legacy? I did that on Sunday night for an hour. If I mean, just let me know if you're interested in me doing any more of it because I did figure out the mechanics of it finally. And um we can start where we left off and I could, you know, play with it some more if you guys are interested. If you're not, that's okay too. I just play it by myself in my room, you know, whatever. This is a lot of yarn. Oh my God. <laughs> a thousand yards. Holy moly. Okay, that's enough. I may do number, I may do four on this one. What did you say? Rebecca, need a butt cushion. Had my butt injury worked on today. Injury from the fall. I haven't had a fall and I need a butt cushion. Oh, well. I had an injury once where I lived in this townhouse and I had two Rottweilers. And when I was going down the stairs, because you had to go down the stairs to answer the front door. Um, so I went down the stairs because somebody was at the front door and the dogs 
ran and took my feet, both feet out from under me, and I landed down the stairs and broke my, fractured my coccyx bone, which is, you know, your tailbone. I could not sit down for a year. Literally, at, I was a lawyer then. I would go to depositions or I'd be at work in meetings and I would have to stand up. I could not sit down. Yeah, um, for almost a year. Sounds like a Murdoch story. Well, Jerry, you know, he lied about the dogs. It didn't really happen the way he said it. That was from Monday's episode. Joanna says when she makes the great Pyrenees yarn rolls, she has 12 massive balls, which wish I had your yarn tool. I was just showing Joanna on, um, on Amazon. They have them, the yarn winders. See? $15.99. That's one. That's a desktop one. This one attaches to a desk. It, it doesn't sit on top of it. See, like, here's a here's one a little bit more similar to the one I'm using. It attaches to a desk, but that's $31. So it's a good little tool to have around. Rhonda broke her tailbone playing, what? Fruit salad and musical chair <laughs> Oh, no. She lost. She broke her tailbone. It's painful, guys. Let me tell you, it is painful to do that. So my son has a great Pyrenees dog. I should uh, tell my son I want I want him to collect the fur for me. <laughs> Joanna's going to show me how to use that and make yarn. Gosh, can you imagine? Oh, it's hollow. It's hollow now. Look, <laughs> I took all the yarn out of the middle. <laughs> all right, now we got to do some white. Oh God, now she wants back in. Jeez, she wasn't even out there five minutes. Come on. Not even outside for five minutes. It's hot out there. But so what I've been, I used to walk the dogs. Um, I walk them in the morning when I wake up, whenever that is. And I tell you, retiring, I, it's later and later. <laughs> it used to be like, it's anywhere between 8 and 10 a.m. So I'll take them for a walk. And then I used to walk them at 4.30 every day. And it's too hot. It's way too hot. So I've been waiting till about uh, 8 o'clock at night and then walking them. And it seems to go much better. I see you, Deborah. I saw you sneak in there, girl. I know you're here. How are you, sweetie? Deborah thought she'll I'll just sneak in there and see what Rebecca's doing. Yep. I'm winding yarn and it's going to make me sneeze here in a minute. You should see all the yarn that's here. The yarn smooth or whatever you want to call it. I'm trying to get this knot to tangle. All right, now I gotta I gotta blow my nose. Ah. I need a I need to wear a mask. I'm breathing on all this fiber. <laughs> So I'm going to do, let's see where the white is on this thing. Oh, it's the beard. Probably two would be enough on the beard. Yeah, probably two. I'll probably do three just in case, but I don't think I need three.
So this was Red Heart Super Saber. This is only 744 yards. I don't know how in the world I ended up with so much yarn. How did that happen? One day I decided I liked, liked yarn. And the next thing you know, I had tons of it. Tons of it. Why didn't that go underneath there? I want it to go under. Stay under. There we go. Not how I should get my now. This is not the kind of fiber that's going to help me in any way. <laughs> Happy Mother's Day. Is that Sunday? Mother's Day? My mother is deceased. And even when she was around, I didn't. I was a strange tremor, so I really didn't celebrate Mother's Day. But my, I expect my son will probably take me out to dinner or something. I am a bad influence. Yes, I am. I am, I am. All right. One more roll and then we can start. I did this the last time I did this, I did it on top of my diamond painting and I ended up having to take a washcloth and wiping down uh, one of the, the square that I had exposed because there was yarn fiber all over the dang diamond painting and I had to wash it off. Um, but once I washed it off with the cloth, and it, it dried. It was sticky again, so it was fine. Hi, Robert. Nice to see you. I just come in before I go to lawn bowling. Really, Robert? How interesting. I don't think I, that's not anything I have ever done. Lawn bowling. Hmm. Isn't that like a European thing? Or I don't, I don't, I don't know anything about lawn bowling. <laughs> <laughs> Robert is the biggest social butterfly that I know. He does all the things. Okay. That's enough of that. Those are done. Okay. So we're going to start. Where's my, my hook? We're going to start with this here. So what I usually do is I have it all in a basket here. Uh, so I'm just putting it in the basket until I need it. The first one I'm going to need is yellow. So plus I may have to go out and buy more yellow. And then after that, I'll need white. So I'll just keep those out. And then I'll put these over here too. There. Now I can take this away. Okay, now we can start. I don't need those yet. Robert is a, he has a purple icon. I like that color, Robert. What time is it? Oh, my goodness. I spent all that time winding yarn. Goodness gracious. I am... Um, I'm looking at the diamond painting. I think I have about six squares, six release paper size sections left. 
and then I should be done with that painting. And my God, is it beautiful. It is so pretty. I should show it to you. I haven't showed it to anybody lately. This is what it looks like so far. Let me move the chair. Isn't that gorgeous? And there's, I discovered there's another cat right up here on the top of the ear. There's a little cat there. There's a cat here. And there's another cat underneath all this that I haven't painted yet. But it's so pretty. <gasps> Look at all the hearts. Thank you, guys. I, I really love that artist i i wish diamond art club would do some more of his things but do you know some more of his work but they haven't i've got the dog and the cat so i'll just i i want to get those framed and put them up together they're really pretty what happened here okay my sister's dog is barking. Oh my gosh, he finally got better. Oh, I for a couple of nights I stayed up with him all night because he just kept going to the bathroom on the floor. But um, he has stopped doing that. Thank God. Okay. So this is row one is done. Now we're on row two. Oops. Hold on. And there's row two. So row one is one of these squares and row two is two of the squares. Listen to him barking. Where is my sister? Oh, she took off in my car. <laughs> no wonder he's barking. <laughs> All right, let me go shut him up. I kept waiting for my sister to shut him up and she's not here. <laughs> she took off. He, he gets that way. If he thinks he's alone in the house, he'll start barking. So if I just go and tell him that I'm here, he's fine. Hi, buddy. I'm here, buddy. Yeah, you weren't left alone. No. I don't know where she went. I don't. All right, go sit down. You stepping on all my diamond painting stuff, which is on the floor for lack of a better place to put it. Because I'm going to put it right back up here on the table and work on it after the live. While I listen to my sister's lives tonight, there's um, Crafts with Crashly. She's on at 730. And then... Um, Tia's, I had to think what her channel name was. Tia's Crazy Craft Edition. Craft Addiction. Tia's Crazy Craft Addiction. She's on at 9 p.m. Central. I think that's her time to go live. She played me a clip last night of her daughter singing opera her daughter's an opera singer or she's studying to be an opera singer i don't know oh my god it's gorgeous i could not believe how good it was i'm not a real fan of opera but oh, her voice is so gorgeous
So the first four rows are just this color, this, it's kind of um, almost like a skin color, like a nude. I don't, I didn't look to see what the packaging said it was. Now, what is that? Oh, those are, are those musical notes? What is that? I can't even tell what that is, Rhonda. Oh, your dad loved opera with Mario Lanza blasting. Oh my goodness. Yeah, normally, like I said, I'm not a fan, but wow. Her voice just has this melodic tone to it that's just gorgeous. I think I put this in the wrong hole. I know that's what she said, right? One, two, three. Okay, so how many people are going to listen to the story of James and Elena? Or have you already listened? Jerry said she was in the middle of listening to it. You sent me a super chat. What? I didn't see it. Did I miss it? I don't think it went through. I didn't see it come up on the um, screen. If you get billed for something, uh, let me, you know, and you don't think you purchased it, let me know. What is going on here with this? Okay. Here we go. So it just, I will thank you in advance though for your super chats, Joanna. Those have been really, really sweet of you to do and very, very helpful. You know, I do this channel on a full-time basis. I don't have a small business like other people do. I'm not selling a product. You know, the product you're getting from me is my time. Um, putting my time into letting you guys know what's going on in the trial world. I have to uh, figure out what went on in that other case today. And any kind of donations that you guys make to the channel are always, always appreciated. That helps me get a little bit of income, extra income every month. Now that I'm on social security and that lets me, allows me to make craft purchases that I show you on the channel and stuff. Okay. Now we've done the first four rows. Now we're going to add in the yellow. There we go. What about to say, I love listening to Andre Bocelli. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Now that, yes, <laughs> he's amazing. I would love to see him in person. Can you, the tickets to see that guy. Wow. There was one guy here not long ago. I don't think it was Bocelli. I think it was someone else in he, here in Wichita and the tickets were ridiculous, like $300, you know, in fact, Hamilton is coming to town here soon and I'm sure the tickets are going to be ridiculously expensive so that's why I just stay home and watch everything on television <laughs> just a little gesture to make you feel appreciated well thank you I do feel appreciated when you do that Joanna what she's talking about is the super chats that's you go down to the bottom where you type in what you're going to say next. Sometimes there is a dollar sign there and you hit that dollar sign and you're able to make a donation to the channel or you can follow the link that's in the description and you can become a member of the channel like Jerry and Berta and Catherine just joined tonight, which I really do appreciate. Thank you very much, everybody. Okay, so there's one of those. Then I need to do three yellows. So we're going to bring in the yellow now. So I'm done using that. So I'm going to put it off to the side. Bring in the yellow.
Lisa is my oldest member. She's been a member for two years. <laughs> she was one of the first, if not the per first person to join the channel here. And she's been in a pretty, turned into a pretty incredible friend. And uh, I love that. Okay, so that's three of those. So when I'm done, see, I've added the three squares of the yellow. Then I'm going to put that onto the other side. Now all I have to do is add in another one of these colors for the other side. Because this is on the right side of the pattern now. I'm going to have to pick up this yarn on the left side. So right off the bat, you're going to have three bobbins going. But y'all know that. You've seen me do this a hundred times. Well, not a hundred times, but <laughs> enough times. Come on. Then what I do while I'm doing this is I have a darning needle. I take out one of these darning needles. I love these things. Um, and I just sew in the ends as I'm going along. Your dog was not happy that you left him. Thank you. He didn't believe you. <laughs> okay. Now on the next row. Okay. We're just going to keep adding one yellow square on each row for a while. So now I'm done with this side. I'm going to go back to doing yellow now. Move this down. I'm going to go back to doing yellow. This keeps everything untangled. Oh, Lisa, that's sweet of you to say. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Sometimes I wonder if I am a good friend. You know, I, I don't always feel like it. Because there's days when I just, I don't talk to anybody. And it's just because that's the way that I'm feeling that particular day. It's not, it doesn't mean I don't love everybody. It just means that that's the kind of day I'm having. <laughs> yeah, I am definitely going to need to go buy more of this. And I believe this was... I have to take it with me to the yarn store. It's this. I don't think this is going to be enough. It, it might be. I don't know. I definitely am going to need yellow in the future. So, and I also need to get some cross stitch supplies. I I need some. I'm starting a new pattern this weekend and I want to get the the uh, thread for that it's just it's not a, a big deal it's just a couple of threads that I need but I need to make a trip over to Joanne's
I'm going to finish all these gnomes this year and I don't, I won't know what to do with myself next year. I think next year I will challenge myself to do maybe like one large graph GAN, like a, I'll design something, maybe like my logo. That would be kind of cool. A, cu a couple of orders have been placed with Rose Profit for my logo. If you are interested in doing my logo, which is right there in the corner, right there, right there. Um, you can talk to Rose. She is ordering that as a diamond painting. She just put in a couple of orders, I believe, for it. I have no idea what she's charging. Okay, I added, I went from three to four. Now we're going to put that over here. I, Berta, I am um, crocheting gnomes for a large, very large blanket at the end of the year. I've, each gnome is a separate square. This is the gnome I'm working on for July. Um, he's got a little watermelon hat. Oh my gosh, look at, we're already out of time, you guys. It's not fair. All right, uh, I'm going to put that down for now. So show of hands, who would like me to come on tomorrow night? Because I know Wolfpack is taking a break from lives. So tomorrow night, I can come on and do Hogwarts Legacy for an hour or two if anybody's interested. If not, I'm just going to play it by myself in my bedroom. But I can certainly stream it if uh, if anybody is interested in sitting there watching. It's super cute. It is so cute. This game and the graphics are amazing. Um, I'm having a lot of fun with it. There's Caden. You got a job. What are you doing? Oh, can we guess? Is it McDonald's? Are you are you working at McDonald's? Are you making the frappes? What are you doing, Caden? That was my guess. Anybody else want to guess? When I was your age, I worked at a place called Crystals. It was in Florida. And we made those little burgers, you know, those little square burgers. And people would come in and they'd order like 10 of them. I'll have 10. Or if they were high on marijuana, they'd come in and order 25. Oh, you're working at Cal Ranch as a cashier. So now what is Cal Ranch? We, we don't live in Idaho, so what is, Caden's up there in Idaho where all the crime happens, you know, the, that's where the, that's, you know, that's where the second coming of Jesus is going to be in Idaho, and Caden's already there, God love him, yeah, so, <laughs> Mickey says, like, White Castle, yeah, it was, but it was called Crystal's Hamburgers, and um, it was, I was, it, I was, I'm going to high school in Orlando, Florida at the time. And that's where I was working. It's a farm store. Oh, you sell ice cream. Okay. No, wait a minute. I might have that wrong. <laughs> See, when I grew up in Florida, there was a little thing called farm store and it and it had two sides to it and you could drive up on up on one side or you could drive up on the other side and you would buy ice cream or milk or whatever you needed from this thing called the farm store but I, he might be talking about an actual farm store like where you buy farmers stuff i'm not sure <laughs> Caden, which is it? <laughs> That's terrible. All right, guys. I don't want to run into Crashly's time. Okay, since I saw no interest in the Hogwarts Legacy, and that is perfectly fine, I will play it in my bedroom tomorrow night, and I will think of you guys fondly while I'm doing it. Okay, he says it has animal stuff and other agriculture stuff. Okay, so it's an actual farm store. <laughs> I'm so sorry. 
nobody has any idea what I was talking about farm store, but uh, okay, that's okay. <laughs> Cause I just, I grew up in people would, where my father go, I'm going to the farm store and we'd say, okay, get, get chocolate or, or get vanilla. And he would come home with a half gallon ice cream and you know, so that's i think you guys were coming by tonight don't forget to leave a thumbs up on your way out thank you for the monetary support those of you that joined the channel i do appreciate it and um those of you that made super chats i appreciate that as well have a great evening head on over to watch crops with crashly and i will see you there bye everybody